It's right around 3.30 in the morning here in the Kootenai River Valley by Creston. These elk were out foraging and I managed to get them in my headlights for a couple seconds. And even though it still wasn't quite 4 o'clock in the morning, the sun was, because of a geographical anomaly in time zones, just about to rise. Which was fine with me. Just listen to that sound. No traffic noise. Everybody else was still in bed, except for me and the birds and the bugs and the animals. I was on my way back from photographing the annual Kids Cancer Care Foundation ride for a lifetime, and I was being pretty leisurely about it, stopping at places like here in the Columbia River Valley that we'd roared through a couple days before, and the Creston Salmo Pass. What a beautiful spot. Chasing the motorcycles through here, I barely had time to look around. That's why I miss these columbines and ferns. And the bear grass. I thought bear grass was done for the season, but nope, it's still blooming up high. And the views down the sides of the pass, just incredible. I came across this moose too. He was in the shed where they store the grit and the salt for the roads in the winter. And he looked really guilty when I spooked him out of there. Those motorcycle guys sure know how to choose a route, and it was gorgeous all the way through. But you don't get time to stop and see things like Columbia ground squirrels or cedar trees hanging over Roaring Creek. So I made time to look for stuff like that on the way back. Like the lichens. And the bright green of brand new hemlock needles. We don't have hemlocks in Alberta. Kind of cool. But the place I really wanted to spend the most time was in the Kootenai River Valley over by Creston. I didn't get back there till late in the afternoon, so a lot of it was in the shade of the mountains. But that doesn't matter. The ferns, the monkey flowers, the little forget-me-nots, all gorgeous. Turtles were basking on logs. And I found this mama turkey and maybe her sister taking care of their little wild babies. But the sun that was lighting this cottonwood fluff was going behind the mountains pretty quickly. So I found a place to park, got a few hours sleep, and was up again as soon as the sun started to brighten the eastern sky. Which, as I might have mentioned, was pretty darn early. But it was worth it. I had to move on though. I'd already driven the better part of 2,000 kilometers and I still had a couple hundred to go. But I made sure to take a little time to check out Mount Fernie Provincial Park. It does get a little crowded because it's so small, but in there among the cedar trees it's beautiful. As is this place just across the Alberta border. The last time I visited this little waterfall there was barely anything going through at all. This time, a mini Niagara. And, to my mind, even more beautiful. As are so many things when we're in a hurry to get somewhere. That's why I always make sure that I take time to see them on the way back.